Caught two fish today. Say hi. So we got that way, got a lot of surfers that way. I really wish we were playing some beach volleyball right now. I'm using a pretty janky setup, borrowed from my uncle. I don't have my good stuff here. Uh, we just got a one ounce liter, we got a bead, we got a swivel, we got a size 10 hook, I believe. I'm gonna try some of this uh, Berkeley's Gulp. I know some people say to dry it for a couple hours on a paper towel. I didn't have time today, but we will do that next time. But let's throw this on the hook. I have it hooked on. I would have preferred to use one of those bait holding hooks, but uh, I didn't have one available today. I'm trying to, this is just kind of like make and do with what I got. Uh, yeah, so I hooked it in like this. Hope it stays put. I really hope that weight isn't too big because I'm not exactly sure what line test this is or what pound test this is and it looks a little weak and a little old. First cast today and we caught a fish. Wow. Talk about getting lucky. Getting lucky. <laughs> oh, too funny. Too funny. Uh, so just my luck and I knew this was going to happen. I was using too heavy of a weight and uh, didn't release the line fast enough and snapped it because this stuff, I, it's so old. Oh, this fishing line is just so bad. So this might be one of those one cast, one fish, leave. <laughs> I need probably need to go get this thing re-spooled, otherwise I'm gonna lose a bunch more, but you know what, I'll set one more up and kind of try it one more time and be extra super careful, but I really just, this is why it's so important to have the right gear you know, with you, but I really just wanted to get out there today and you know, see if I can catch something. Uh, what I'm using today for the hook, we got this owner size four red. This that attaches to our swivel. We have a barbell swivel. Then, you know, my weight, and this is the big problem, is I'm using weight that I would normally use with a lot heavier pound test, deep sea. Uh, I would even use way heavier than this, but uh, I didn't have any available on me in the house. Uh, that's my problem. So this line, which is really old, just can't handle that whip of the cast. I'm also using these uh, Seps Pro beads between the swivel and the weight. It makes a little bit of noise, gives a little protection. So if you want some free bait, look at all those little indentations. Those are actually the antenna of sand crabs. Look at that. Oh, so you can just stick your hand in. And you see them and they kind of burrow into your hand. Oh, there, there's one. Oh, lost it. Come back. There's one right here. Here's a small one. See, I was trying to burrow into the sand. So we gotta find a big one that we can put on the end of a hook. Let's dig. Where is the big one? Come on. There it is, right there. That's a monster. Look at that guy. Yeah, I couldn't catch anything with the sand crabs, unfortunately, so I went back to the artificial bait. So let's see if that gets me some more luck. All right, so I decided to do one more cast. You know, it's always that one more cast mentality, but we caught this beauty. Here's my hand for scale. Not too shabby. So uh, yeah, this little janky rig that I had, little janky setup, actually worked. Caught two fish today, not too, not too shabby. Say hi. All right, let's go throw them back in the water. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this little episode, our first episode of Cast and Spear. We tested out the Berkeley Gulp versus a sand crab. Definitely Berkeley Gulp, hands down. Couple casts in, you start catching fish like that. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Um, you know, share it with your friends and whatnot. I'm gonna try and do this more often. And until next time, yeah, keep those lines tight and I'll see you later.